Welcome to Project Planning Pro, an app from I2E Consulting. Pro Project Planning Pro allows you to create plans and manage your plans on your iPad. Let's start by taking a look of how to create the plan. I'll put a plan name. Sample plan. Provides you with a clean sheet uh, where you can put in your task name. Let's say task 1, task 2, right. you can double click on the task which prompts you with the task information window. Let me set the duration to probably 5, five or 7 days. Now the task pop-up has three tabs, the general information where you can put in your start date, finish date, duration and percentage complete. It also has mark as milestone. So let me say uh, let the plan is 35% complete. The predecessor for this task is task 1 with a finish to start date as the relationship, 0 days lag. Let me add a resource, I click on the resources, add a resource. then this resource is assigned 100% of the time to this task. Let me save the plan. If you go to the Gantt view, you will see that's a start to finish relationship and the Gantt created on the fly. Let me save the plan. Now the plan is saved on your iPad. I hit back button. You see the plan is created. Now let me go back to the sample plan. This is how your sample plan looks like. Let's start by taking a look at the filter feature. You can filter for any of these columns, task name, duration, percentage complete. I'll select task name. The value would be let's say develop. Now what this is going to do is, it will filter all tasks which contain develop as one of the parameters. Okay. Clearing the filter is easier, just click on clear. The slider bar allows you to uh, give more real estate for the table view. As you can see, there's a plus sign here that allows you to show additional columns. Let me say I want to see percentage complete, percentage work completed, and probably the work, the total slack. I hit done, and all these columns are available for me now here. Another way to look at the task is, task details is by clicking on the gear icon here. The gear icon provides you with the option of indenting the task, outending the task, also inserting a task in between, deleting a task and also editing the task. So let me go ahead and indent this task. Now what that does is it indents, it indented this row here. Next, let's take a look at the Gantt. Clicking on a Gantt will pro provide a pop-up which shows you the start date, finish date, duration, percentage complete and also the resources. A, a cool feature about this app is it provides you the bird's eye view, lets you give a snapshot view of the entire plan so that when you click on a section of your Gantt, you can navigate to that section of the Gantt. A very useful feature for people having large project plans. Let me hide the Gantt view. I can click on a gland, select on the gland and then probably move it to the new, new start date and finish date. So what I did just now was just move the gland, it allows me to start the start date, finish date. I can also pinch on the gland which will change the duration of the task. 
next I do is save the plan again of course let's take a look at what other features this offers uh, the time scale view it this allows me to move the plan from the start date uh, from uh, month view to the week view the week view to the day view let me go back to the month view again a useful feature if someone has a plan which spans a month probably you could use uh, the, day, the day view the settings option has share as PDF this option uh, takes the snapshot of your plan the saved version of your plan and sends it as an email uh, to whoever you wish another option available is the calendar view provides a read only view of your of your project plan as a calendar view also available is the critical path view shows you the critical path and lastly the option is the help uh, a comprehensive help is also available on www.planningproapp.com okay now i'll hit back here hit on the plus sign again here as you may see there are three other options available here where i can import my plans from now this is specifically useful for microsoft project users who already have their plans in Microsoft project format and would want to import their file into the app. So one of the options is Dropbox. Another is email. You could email uh, your Microsoft project plans, which of course has to be saved as an XML before you can email it to yourself. An easy way to test this app is, uh, test this feature is just to click on send me a sample project. What this does is sends you a sample plan for uh, you to test this functionality so I'll just really quickly go to the mail this is the email that you would receive with the sample plan press and hold open in planning pro this will import the plan onto your app again available for offline viewing this is the plan that just got loaded also available is the GApp server. So if people who you people and users who are used to using Microsoft Project Server can use this tool. A uh, plugin is required, an optional plugin uh, that can be installed on your intranet, which will allow you to download your plans. A demo is available. This gets data from the I2E cloud server. Select a pro select a plan. Let me select human resource download now this plan is available for offline viewing you don't need to be connected to your project server it's available for offline viewing lastly as you may see the legend shows this plan was created on ipad the second one from email and the lastly uh, the last one for from gapp server you can edit the plan names you can as well delete the plan names so this app is free to download with limited feature set. Full version is available as an in-app purchase for a promotional offer at $9.99. Thank you.